Gary Peterson here. Today we're going to look at your backhand volley down the wall and we're going to give you a system or a method that will keep your backhand volley much more consistent than probably what you're getting now and the outcomes that you're getting at the moment. So what we're going to do is we're going to ask you not to float your backhand volley drop. In other words, I don't want it to go like this. Because what happens is you're starting to play with touch and you're playing with where the ball hits on the racket as to how well. These rackets are awesome around about somewhere there. They're fantastic. But you start hitting it down over here or over here and it just doesn't give you quite the same. They're quite reasonable almost up there because of the teardrop shape and they're obviously quite reasonable right through to here. But anything off and you start playing with that soft shot, that little one that goes from there and like that, and it really becomes a little bit difficult. So what we're going to ask you to do is go very direct and really sharp with your backhand volley. So that means that when we come from here, we, that's on the wall, sorry, had to use, use a little bit of um, concentration. There, there, that was a tin. There, straight and direct. Now the ball comes back a slight little bit further. There. It come, but what will happen, it'll just get really accurate because it gets direct to the point. So if you, can, if you can get that little sharpness about your backhand volley, it gets there really quickly. There's just not much time for your opponent to get in there and get it back. This one here just takes that long to get there, that they've got all this time to actually get up there and play a little lob or whatever they need to, to scramble it back. But this one here, there's not much time to get in there. So there, a bit of trouble there. There, there. So if you can keep it nice, sharp, and usually it's a short, sorry, tin. Usually it's a short punchy swing. So if you use a stop position on your backhand volley, here, there, you'll find it'll work quite well. And there, 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 there. And it gets pretty consistent. Yep, you really don't want to be aiming to play winners on these. I know it's nice if you get winners and you love to play winners and it's a great thing, but if you work on a system where you consistently play really good shots, expect that the ball's gonna come back. And if anybody gets that back, they're probably gonna spoon it up and give you an option to do something off it anyway. So it's not a problem if they do get it back, you just make them run more. So you wanna just pop the ball in, sharp, nice and neat, nice and straight. Don't play winners, that'll give you your consistency because you're not after the finite outcome. And then after that, um, if they happen to get it back, the next shot will be your next one to really knock them around and hurt them as well. So go for your backhand volley, straight, direct volley drop. Don't float the ball in and um, your consistency should go through the roof.